my channel if you are new here then thank you so much for tuning in as you can see we have got a lovely slick rick at the moment um i've just popped my hair royal on i'm just going to be heading in the shower soon to wash that off and get myself ready for the day as you've just seen i've just had my breakfast and yeah today's video is just a little bit of a day in the life one of my favorite videos to film i need to go out and do some food shopping just like a couple of bits like, yeah we're just gonna have a little fun day together <music> myself ready and I just wanted to talk about how obsessed I am with my hair at the minute like the quality of it how much it's grown in the last 12 weeks right I'll pop a photo up just here of how it was 12 weeks ago in comparison to now and I can't even believe that I've managed to do this so I always kind of thought that like my hair was just really naturally coarse it was just I don't know it just wasn't supposed to be like nice and long and silky um because of the amount of damage that i've done to it over the years with like bleaching and i don't mean just like bleaching like as i am getting my roots done like i really like i really abused it like years ago i put bleach on myself um i removed black hair dye by myself and bleached it several times in one week and i think that was the start of the decline in the quality of my hair. I don't know, I think over the last like 12 weeks, I, th I think I just decided that like enough was enough. I'd looked at different ways of trying to like get it back to how it should be and nothing was really working, but I saw the hair syrup that I use on TikTok and I don't know what it was. I just saw all of these like customer reviews and there were genuine customer reviews of like people who have like alopecia, um like other conditions which mean which make like hair loss and they were having amazing regrowth results and i just thought you know what let's just give it a try and it was possibly one of the best things i've ever done because the quality of my hair now granted it's still got a way to go but i don't think i'll ever stop using hair syrup i use it tw probably twice a week um so I use both the vitamin C me one and the rosemary one. I just put it on before I go in the shower for like an hour minimum or I put them on overnight the night before I wash my hair. And it's just so simple. It's just become one of those things that like I just don't wash my hair until I've had the hair oil on first. And it's just an absolute wonders. Obviously there's been like other things that I've done as well. Let me know though if you'd like to see like a full video on like what I'm doing with my hair because I feel like that's something a couple of people have asked for on my Instagram and I don't really know I've kind of contempl contemplated doing it before but like I don't really know how I can make it like a link not like a lengthy video but like going through everything 
I feel like it won't take that long. So I don't know whether to include it in part of like one of these style videos or to do like a completely separate video on it. Let me know what you think. By the way, I'm not even going anywhere today. Like special, I just fancy doing my makeup. Cause it's been a while since I've done makeup. And I just kind of thought, meh, let's just do some makeup for no reason. Because why not? <laughs> so a little mini Aldi haul here. Um, I picked up two more of the chocolate mousses. Um, those ones I really like, another vanilla mousse. I picked up some more eggs. Now, I usually get these delivered by a milkman, but unfortunately at the minute, the, their prices have just been going up and up and up. And quite frankly, oh, I, it, it's been a difficult decision, not gonna lie, because I understand that I'm supporting local farmers by getting the milk round, but it was just, it wasn't justifiable anymore um, with just the cost of everything going up. And so unfortunately I switched back to Aldi um, in terms of milk and eggs. So, yeah, I've picked up some more eggs. Um, I've got some more strawberries there, some more garlic granules, some olive oil, um, some bananas, light mayonnaise, some chopped tomatoes, beef mints. Um, I picked up all of the stocks because I realised I'd run out of all of them. So I've got the vegetable, beef and chicken stock cubes, um, some floralita, um, some mayonnaise there. And then I saw these. I've never seen these before. I mean, they are new, but yeah, protein pancakes from Aldi. They look pretty good as well. So I'll try these out, let you know what they're like. Um, but yeah, looking forward to trying them. Okay, so I'm about to have my tea and I've just had a delivery of one of my HelloFresh boxes. So I'm gonna be making for me and Emmanuel the cheese and caramelized onion pork, uh, yeah, pork steak. Um, this video isn't sponsored by the way but i do work with them quite a lot i am actually going to leave the um discount that they did give me previously um i don't earn any money off that whatsoever um it's not an affiliate link like i don't earn anything from this video um in terms of hello fresh so yeah but it's nice to be nice and if you want to get a bit of discount i think it's like 60 percent off and then i think 25 percent off following eight boxes just check the link below and i'll i'll make sure that I put the information in. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have, make this, which looks quite nice. The other meals that came this time were korma baked sea bass and chips and a Thai inspired chicken and noodle stir fry. So looking forward to trying them. But for now, um, I'm just gonna make this. Emmanuel's just in the shower because he is on night shift tonight. Um, so yeah. <laughs> just dropped Emmanuel off at work now and I need to put a wash on so I've got my washing there ready and then I I'm just gonna sit I think and watch so I've started watching Orange is the New Black again from the very beginning which I haven't seen for ages I want to say like I want to say a fair few years at least five years I think um since I watched that and I don't know what it is at the minute I'm just I've got this like obsession with watching series that I've always like already watched before um, and just watching them again from the beginning. I think because I know that they're good, that like I know I'm gonna enjoy it. Um, whereas sometimes when starting new things, actually to be fair, I've started watching um, Vikings Valhalla. Is it Valhalla? One of the Vikings with Emmanuel. And I'm quite enjoying that, which is something new for me. Um, but I do kind of tend to find that with tv series i have to like really be into it within the first like half hour otherwise i just switch it off um so that's why i end up going back to my to my trusty series that i know that i like but yeah so I'm, i can't watch vikings without 
him being here because I'm not allowed, so I'm gonna have to watch um, Orange is the New Black. So that's like my series for when I'm on my own, and then Vikings is what I watch when Emmanuel's here, just because we're watching it together, and yeah. <laughs> so yeah, watching on, and then I'm just gonna sit and um, chill for a bit, I think. So I've just been sat watching some of Orange the, the New Black for the last like hour or so and I've also had one of these um, vanilla protein mousses. I've got to say this might be slightly, maybe a little bit of a unpopular opinion but I think this has to be my favourite. Although I do like the chocolate one, the chocolate one is also my favourite but I have tried all of the flavours now of the protein mousses and my ranking officially I think is chocolate, vanilla, strawberry lemon i really didn't like the lemon one at all actually um but yeah i do rate these though they're really nice but i do um i can't eat it like just as a mousse i don't know what it is but like i have to like mix it so it makes like almost like a custard i don't know why but i do that with all of them so like even the chocolate one i like mix it to make it into like a i don't even know how to describe it it's just like a smooth something i don't know um but anyway i'm gonna um wait for the washing machine to finish hang all the clothes up and get them drying and then um just head to bed really so i am just gonna end this video here i hope that you've enjoyed it if you have then please give it a thumbs up go hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified for when i do upload next then you can hit the bell as well thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye guys Baby, let me love you, let me love you.